In this program today, I'm going to show you how to fill text using Inkscape and an extension of it that's called Eggbot, so that when you use the drawing pens on your Cricut machines, it will actually fill in instead of just drawing the outline of your text. So the first thing you need to do if you haven't already installed the software is come to this site which is the wiki.evilmadscientist.com and it's the slash installing software. In my case, I have a Windows system, so I'm going to scroll down to where the Windows install files are. The first thing it has, it has a link to the Inkscape program. You need to have version 0.92.4 the latest version of Inkscape is version 1.0, but that does not work with this extension. So this is the version of Inkscape that you're going to need to use. And then once you've installed Inkscape, uh, the latest Windows installer, in my case, as I said, I'm running Windows 10. And when you click on this, it gives you the option of saving the install file. Once you've downloaded it, you want to run this install file. And it will give you the option to install the extension files as well as the USB drivers. You do not need to install the USB drivers. So you will uncheck that box when you install the uh, Eggbot extension for Inkscape. And then once you have that installed, you'll want to run Inkscape. All right, I'm in Inkscape. I'm going to add some text. And I will adjust the spacing and move it over. Path, object to path. And then I'm going to go extensions, Eggbot, Patch Fill. I'm going to turn on my live preview. I'm going to have a hatch spacing of 0 0.5 and inset fill from edges 1.0, connect nearby ends at three, the default of 3, and the tolerance I'm going to change from the default of 3 to 1. And I will click apply. And I'm going to right click on the fill down here. I'm going to remove the fill and right click on the stroke and change the stroke to black. And I'll click close for that. And then I'm going to file, save as. I'm going to save this as a plain SVG. Okay, now I'm in Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to come to Images, and I'm searching for Scallop Circle, and I'm going to just add this Scallop Circle right here. And I want it to be 3 by 3, so I'm going to unlock it, and I'll make it 3 by 3. Now I'm going to come down here to Upload. I'm going to upload an image and I'm going to browse to the file I just saved in Inkscape. And that's right here. And I'll click Save. I will click on it and insert images. Here it is. So I am going to resize this to fit in my scalloped circle. And then I will change my text here to a draw. Then I will select them all together and attach. 
Then I will go to make it to send it to my, my Cricut Maker. And I'll show you the final results when they're finished. And this is the final result. This was using a 0.4 size pen. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.